Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today's blade is the Something Obscene Company J Cape. This is the version three. <clears throat> and this guy in this configuration comes in at $300. Um, he's sold out currently. And, but just, if, you, if you're interested in this knife, keep track on his Instagram and he'll let you know when more, or you can DM him and ask him when some more could be available. Um, these are produced for him, produced by We Knives for um, something obscene company. Uh, I think his name's Felix. Really great guy, I got to meet him at Blade Show. And <laughs> this is this configuration is the bronze titanium with the, the Stonewash DLC finish. You can also get Besides the bronze scales, you can get like a bluish purplish color or you can get just gray blasted frames. Um, the blades you can get uh, all, all in stone wash, but you can get this black DLC stone wash. You can get the DLC stone wash with the satin flats. And then you can get just a gray blasted stone wash finish as well. Um, you can also get the thumb stud version like this one without the flipper tab or you can get it with the flipper tab without a thumb stud in all those configurations as well. Um, <clears throat> so let's let's get some quick specs out of the way for this guy. You got a total length of eight inches long, so nice uh, size EDC blade. You have a three and a half inch blade, four inch grip area, <clears throat> you have a 0.52 inch thick handle uh, in the closed position. It's 1.58 inches wide. You have a blade stock thickness of 0.16, so nice and stout blade stock. <clears throat> and you have a nice deep hollow grind on this guy. And this, this is one thing that I love. Just listen to this. Hear that ting? It's like a razor blade. And that's because they got it down to 14 thousandths in this portion of the blade um, in that hollow ground portion. 14 thousandths with a 17 degree per side edge. And then uh, you have a flat, you have like a compound grind. This flat portion, flat ground tip is uh, 25 thousandths with a 25 degree per side edge. So I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing that uh, we sharpen these by hand because you have different angle thicknesses to keep that edge the same, obviously, because you have a thinner portion right here, and then it broadens out right here for your harder task up front. You have a decently robust tip. That swedging right there thins it out so you can have a nice point for piercing. <clears throat> All right, let's get a close look at this guy. Very, very sexy. I love those lines from the stone wash. All these lines on, on all the flats area. And you have this, this nice, broad, or wide uh, harpoon clip point blade shape that I've, I've loved since the, the first time I ever saw it. Like I said, you got the stone wash DLC finish with this compound grind, flat tip, hollow ground back portion. Um, you have the the fist logo on both sides of the blade, and then you also have the blade steel marking, which is Bowler M390 right there. Um, up top, you have some very, very effective jimping in this thumb scoop right here. Definitely locks you in place, and the way it, it scoops up like that, definitely not going anywhere. I promise you that. And you also have this guard right there, so you could do some nice thrusting motions there. <clears throat> you have a pretty, pretty big sharpening chaw. It's definitely not a forward finger chaw unless you have, unless you put like a pinky right there or something. So um, I like that that they they got past the plunge grind. We'll leave it at that at, for right now. You have dual black thumb studs, DLC thumb studs right there. And uh, let's close this guy up. Easy access, those thumb studs. You just put your finger on it. D10 is dialed in. Excellent. Wouldn't expect anything less from we. You can also spidey flick it. 
and you can also slow roll it if you want as well. Riding on ceramic bearing, ceramic D10 ball. <clears throat> and then let's go back to the oh so sexy dark bronze uh, scales. I think it looks like they might have been uh, sandblasted first, then they bronzed them because they they got that matte look to them. You have uh, black DLC hardware, pivot and hard body screws. You also have a black DLC titanium geared backspacer right here. Definitely get some grip right there. You have a lanyard hole for all you lanyard people out there. They have a nice chamfer going all the way around the scales the scales are flat but that chamfer definitely softens those edges um and this grip you locked in really good i can get i can get some good pressure behind the cuts <coughs> i did a i did a few feather sticking just to see how it felt in hand and it was it's it's probably i'd give it a b on the comfort scale it's pretty comfortable i did notice when i was putting a lot of pressure uh into the sticks or the wood that this area kind of gave me a hot spot right there because of where my finger was hand, sit, sitting but it wasn't anything to where i felt like i had to put on gloves right away maybe after a long period of time um <clears throat> let's see in the reverse grip it's it's just okay because <clears throat> the way this handle sits right here i don't have really big i got medium-sized hands and uh, the swell right there gives you a good good spot for this finger to fill up the hand. And you're definitely locked in, you're not going anywhere, but it just felt kind of awkward right here. I was doing a, just some light stabbing. Definitely didn't budge at all though. Um, <coughs> let's see, what else? Um, you have a 3D, you have a 3D, uh, 3d titanium sculpted clip with the lightning bolts that's that's his thing and um you have no internal milling in there you do ha your you have a a little bit of raise on the locks lock bar coming up but this uh jimping or whatever you want to call it right here on the lock bar gives you easy access to that lock bar it gives you good uh purchase on it to disengage that lock Lockup is super solid. Absolutely no play up or down, left or right. I mean, not I can't muscle anything out of it. It's definitely done solid. Your lockup is about, I'd say, 50 to 60 percent. Um, definitely good with that. Um, let's get a weight on this guy real quick. Five point nine one ounces, so it is a, a chunky monkey. I mean, you got sl big, thick slabs of, of titanium. Like I said, that haven't been, been milled out. Let's get some uh, size comparisons, and I'll give you a few things that I would have liked to see different on this knife. Uh, first, we got the Thresher. Thresher is just a little bit bigger. One that's pretty comparable in size is the. Spider Ghost Body Chef, if not identical, it's darn close. <clears throat> and got the A Purpose Blades Progeny. And the Progeny's uh, pretty close in size as well. I think the J Cape might just be a hair longer. And then got the Kershaw Bare Knuckles, which is a uh, a, a good bit longer no not a good bit but a little bit longer so there you go there's size comparisons definitely a full size uh i guess you know by the looks of it and uh the 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 company it's geared toward your hard use like tactical style blades um but let me talk about a few things that i don't love about it uh, um then definitely not a deal breaker for me, but I'm gonna talk about it <clears throat> first I, I wish They would have extended this just a little bit more so you could have had a forward finger troll because I think it would it, I know it would give you a lot of can like up up close <coughs> control because 
it looks like the plunge came back to about right there that they didn't have to extend it that far but being that you do have that that cut out already you could you know extend it a little bit further so you could have a, a dedicated forward finger choil uh, second, this is not really something that really bothered me at all, especially with the cutting I've done so far. But I know some people get bothered by it. And the thumb studs are a little bit into the cutting path, as you can see. It'd been nice to, to move them up, just move them back a little bit this way, just to where it clears the cutting path. And I think it would have worked out as well up here. If you could have put it, you know, put it about right here, you could have still got a good, you know, opening on that knife now i didn't i'm not i'm no uh knife designer so you know that might have thrown thrown the opening uh, method up completely off i don't know just something that i was noticing <laughs> another thing um uh, i i don't hate it but i could have done without the fist logo i think it would have looked a lot cleaner with just the blade still um and you you already have your your lightning bolt pocket clip that you know is is like his thing just like so you can see the lightning bolt in the fist uh at least i don't know y'all tell me what y'all think about that it's not a deal breaker for me but i i could have definitely done without the fist on the on the blade um let's see uh even though, like I said, it's it's pretty easy to get to that lock bar. I think it could have been even better with a a, a chamfer kind of like. Where is it at? Um, let's see. I think he's kind of like on this one how they got the chamfer cut out right there. You could have still left that like that. I think like on this best tech you did it really good. How it still has that cut out with the things. It would have made it even that much easier to get your finger on there. Um, I can get my, being that the slabs titanium are wide enough, I can get my finger in there and that it definitely grips your thumb. So it's, I, it's not hard for me to disengage it, but I think it would have been a little bit easier if they would have put that chamfer in right there. Um, <clears throat> another thing, it, it's, I'm kind of like, I don't know, this is definitely just by the looks of it and how you have this compound tip over here it's geared toward hard use and i would think that's why they didn't mill out the inside scales they want it to be a beefy you know robust knife but at the same time you're fourteen thousandths right here so you're not going to want to do any major i mean i know most of this stuff is prying which i'm sure this tip can handle some prying but you know this thin behind the edge right here you're not going to be doing any like hard striking right there but not something i plan on doing anyway but I would have I would have liked to see uh, the the inside uh, milled out because I mean it'd still be a hard use knife even if it would have it still has a pretty decent balance point a little bit behind that choil but um, it would have been you know it could have been a dual role as an EDC and your hard use tactical style knife. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh. And last is the pocket clip. Uh, I don't, I don't like it really aesthetically. I just, I think it looks kind of silly. And uh, I notice whenever I'm opening the knife, that finger sits on that that point right there. And depending on how I'm opening it, I definitely feel it. I don't really feel it in the in the hammer grip at all. It it doesn't it doesn't create a hot spot for my hands. Now, in this grip right here, if you're doing a pull cut like that, you're definitely going to feel that because your finger's going to sit on that. But the good thing about it is, is he has another uh, style of clip, and it's just basically a standard um, milled titanium pocket clip without the lightning bolt. Lightning bolt's just like a little cutout in the middle of it. So I'll probably, uh, especially if I keep this knife, I'll probably be buying that, uh, that clip because he does offer it on his site. So I, I won't really call it uh you know a complaint being it can be changed he offers another one he just didn't have any at blade show so i wasn't able to get it <clears throat> so my overall thoughts i think it's a great knife uh love that blade shape the action's wonderful uh, i mean we we usually knocks it out of the park uh, nice and comfortable in hand <clears throat> i love how thinly ground it is definitely it was a it's, it's been a great cutter been holding a pretty good edge. Let's see, it's still pretty sharp, 
And if I had to do any prying, I think that tip could handle it. Like I said, this thing is rock solid, not going anywhere. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, if you like this video and you like my videos in general, hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And while you're at it, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my content. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it with all your friends and family and your social networks. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.